Solving Percentage Word Problems Part 2. These problems are trade-related problems geared more for machining or general machinist. We will take a step-by-step -step approach and we will also find the base, the rate, and the percentage to solve our problems. Before we get started, please take a moment to like and subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out. Okay, let's get started right now. Warning, viewer discretion is advised. This video is made for apprentices and may contain scenes that are over explained and may not be appropriate for your skill level. The first step we're going to take in all of our problems is identifying the rate, the base, and the percentage. Then we will transfer them over into an equation and solve the equation. This is the first of three problems that we're going to solve. The company I work for bought a new CNC machine. It increased production by 45% from using the manual mill. We now produce 754 parts on one shift. How many parts were made per shift on the manual mill? Let's take a moment and pause the video, and then when you're done, come back and we'll see if we have the same answer. Our first step in solving this problem is identifying the percentage, the base, and the rate. Rate is associated with the percent symbol and can be written as a fraction or a decimal. Have you identified the rate? It's the 45%. Percentage is associated with is. It's a portion of the base. The amount after the base or the rate are calculated. In this case, the percentage is 754. This one's a little bit tricky. The rate is 100% and it is increased by 45%. Therefore, the rate is 145. Now that we have the percentage and the rate, it's time to calculate the base. As previously stated, our rate is 100% plus 45, so therefore our rate is 145. Our percentage is 754. Let's solve for the equation. 754 times 100 is 75,400. Divided by 145 equals 520. Therefore, our base is 520. Before the new CNC machine, we made 520 parts on one shift. Now, production has increased to 454 parts on one shift. That's an increase of 45%. Problem number two. An aluminum casting that is 12.375 inches long will shrink 2.55%. What is the final size of the casting when it is cooled? Round your answer to the third decimal place. Let's take a moment now and pause the video. Then come back and compare our answers. Here's a little bit better of a visual. So when it's hot, it's 12.375 inches long. When it cools down, what is the length of the part? Let's identify the base, the rate, and the percentage. We remember that rate is associated with the percent sign. And we do have a 2.55%, so that must be our rate. 2.55 is the rate of shrink. Therefore, you have to add 100 to that as well. So therefore, the rate is going to be 102.55. Percentage is associated with is. It is a portion of the base the amount after the base and the rate are calculated. Percentage is going to be 12.375. Since we have the percentage and the rate, this is the formula we're going to use to calculate the base. Our percentage is 12.375 and our rate is 102.55. 12.375 times 100 is 1237.5 divided by 102.55 equals 12.0672824.25 and we're going to round to the third decimal place therefore the base equals 12.067. When our part is hot it's 12.375 inches long. When it's cooled down it's 12.067 inches long. Problem number three. We estimated 180 meters of drill rod to complete the job with an additional 18% for usage or scrap. The job ended up using 302 meters. What percentage more material was used to complete the job? Round your answer to the nearest percent. Let's take a moment and pause the video. When we come back, we'll see if your answer matches my answer. Let's try something a little bit different. When in doubt, draw it out. Sometimes with word problems, it's a little bit easier to draw them out so that you can actually physically see the problem. 
we estimate 180 meters of drill rod to complete the job. So let's say that's red with an additional 18% of usage or scrap. So we're going to say that that guy's blue. The job ended up using the job ended up using 302 meters. What percent more material was used to complete the job? We're going to call that guy pink. We're going to have to do two equations to solve this problem. First, we have our material ordered. What is the total length of material ordered? As always, let's first identify our base, our rate, and our percentage. Let's identify the base. So 180 meters would be our base. Our rate is the percentage, 18. So now that we have our rate and our base, let's calculate our percentage. Our base is 180. Our rate is 18. So 180 times 18 is 3,240 divided by 100 equals 32.4. The amount of material we ordered is 180 meters plus 32.4 meters. The total amount of material used on this job was 302 meters. So 302 meters minus 212.4 equals 89.6 meters. So therefore we used 89.6 meters more material than we had anticipated. Now it's time to calculate what percent more material was used to complete the job. Start the second problem off by identifying the rate, the base, and the percentage. The percentage is going to be 89.6 and the base is going to be 212.4. Now that we have our equation, let's start filling in the variables. So our percentage is going to be 89.6 times 100 and that gives us 8960 divided by 212.4 equals 42.184557 and we'll round that up to the nearest percent which is 42 percent. So therefore we use 42 percent more material than what we quoted. Glad to see that you enjoyed this video. If you want to see other great videos check out my YouTube channel Shop and Math. If you have any ideas or suggestions for future videos please leave them in the comment section below. If you have any ideas on how you can solve this word problem in a different way, please leave them in the comments section as well so that everybody can benefit from the knowledge. If you got anything out of this video, please like and subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out. All you have to do is click on the icon on my face and I'll do the rest. Thanks for watching the video and have a great night.